Hi, I'm James, and in today's video we are taking a look at this, which is the Dell Inspiron 13-inch 5301 laptop. Uh, this is a 11th generation uh, Intel Tiger Lake based laptop, and what we're going to start off by doing is turning it over and removing, first of all, these four screws. We are using a Phillips double O screwdriver bit. And we remove these front four, first of all. There isn't a huge amount that can be upgraded in this laptop. The memory on this particular model is LPDDR4-4266, uh, uh, being the LP variant of DDR4 it is soldered down and cannot be upgraded so the version that you purchase is what you're stuck with uh, so if you are wanting a machine with 16 gigabytes i would recommend buying that uh, at the time of purchase because you can't change it later but we now undo these three back screws now these are retained uh, so they don't lift out when you undo them but with that done they have then lifted the base of the laptop from the chassis so what we're going to do then is just use our pry tool to just release along the back here and then use it just to press in a bit, pull up with the hand and lightly just release as much of the base as we can. Having those retained screws which then lift the chassis is actually really nice, it does make things a lot easier. Now the first thing that we are going to do of course is disconnect the battery. Now to do this I'm going to use two pry tools uh, just to make it a bit clearer because people always complain that I uh, block the view of this normally with my hands. So by pushing these in here and then just gently pushing the battery connector out, made a bit tricky by the fact that it is stuck to the battery. So let's pull that tape up. And then just ease the battery connector out. It is pretty tight here to the battery itself, but by lifting that cable, we can disconnect that. Always just important to disconnect the battery before you start working on things. It means you can be absolutely sure the laptop isn't switched on and also that you're not going to accidentally power it up while you're working on it. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the battery itself. You can see here, so this is a 40 watt hour battery. There is obviously a larger battery which is available for these machines. I will try and look it up and include details below. And that could be fitted to take the extra space there. And um, that is something I've seen in a few of the Dell laptops I've had recently, where they seem to uh, have multiple capacities and here in the UK we always just seem to get the smaller ones. But with that done we can now lift the battery out. This cable here we can disconnect from the battery. If you're getting a replacement this cable because they use um, the same batteries in multiple different designs with different battery connector locations the cable has to be uh, transferred between batteries. Just pulls off and then for the new one you would press it into place and reseat the cable. Anyway, for the, since it's already removed we're just going to place the, <coughs> place the battery to one side for the moment. Now the SSD we can find under this little cover on the main board here. So what we'll see is there's a little sort of sticky pad on this and it has just sort of stuck slightly to the chip. I'm just going to use this to hold that out the way while we work. 
Uh, what we have here is our SSD. Now, Dell as standard fit a uh, M2 2230 drive, so a very short drive into this machine, uh, being possibly uh, if you had a 512 gigabyte SSD as standard, you may find a larger drive in here. Um, but to remove this, we have so the mounting point is actually a full 2280 mounting point. They just use this metal shim to fit the drive, so you can remove the shim and then just... It's all hard to get a grip on it because of the tight proximity of other parts, but we can ease that out. If we were wanting to fit a full 2280 drive, I think only a single sided drive will fit and quite probably only NVMe type drives, but we can place that in there and then refit the retaining screw to install our drive. As it is, I'm going to keep the original SSD in this particular machine. So we are going to, again, retaining screw out, remove our 2280 drive, and so refitting the 2230, we simply slot it in, slot in the holder, and then screw it back into place. With that done, uh, we can then just let the cover there sit back over the drive. To refit our battery, we then take battery, relocate it in position, To be honest, it would probably be easier to do this connecting the cable before we site the battery. It's not my favourite thing to do, I'd rather do that last before putting the base back on. But in this case, because things are quite tight in here, it's not the easiest machine to work on this and it really is quite limited in what you can upgrade. It's quite an integrated mainboard. So no memory upgrade, no wireless LAN module upgrade, as that is, again, part of the board. But with the battery reconnected, we can now reposition the battery. And screw it back into position. And to push this cable back round to make sure it's not sitting on top of the battery and uh, all that is left to do is to take our base and we want to make sure it is properly positioned along the front edge so clip the front edge in and then press down on the sides obviously because of these retain screws it will not go down fully but if we take our screwdriver and screw in those three retained screws you should find our base properly refitted and then by working around the rest of the screws replacing the four that we removed originally we have our machine reassembled now obviously if you had um, upgraded your SSD, you would want to either clone <laughs> you would want to either clone the contents across or do a clean Windows install onto the device. I do have videos on the channel 
looking at how to do this. Uh, personally for cloning I use True Image. But I hope you found this video useful. Hit like if you have, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them, and let me know any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.